Hey, welcome back to the CTM Sports Channel. And if you could, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help this channel reach 1K. So, getting into the sports today. I want to talk about the Nuggets. Shout out to the Nuggets. They won a championship. First championship, I believe, for their franchise. And uh, Jokic and Murray were probably the best uh, dynamic duo um, in the playoffs. So, best team. I mean, they had the better overall team. Uh, shout out to the Heat for competing. You know, trying, they gave it their all. They just didn't have enough firepower. It's like bringing a gun to a rifle fight. Sometimes you can win with a gun, but the percentages are not on your side. You have to be perfect, a tactician, and sometimes you don't have room for error. And um, not enough room for, for error with Denver, and the Heat uh, paid the price for that. But shout out to the Nuggets for winning the championship. And now you know what the run of the mill is, is can the Nuggets repeat the championship run? Can they repeat that? Uh, the West is going to be hard next year. With the West, it's going to be pretty tough. It's not going to be uh, easy. Um, they have, definitely have a good chance. I think uh, somebody told me they had, they uh, Michael Porter has an extension. Um, Cause you know sometimes when teams win championships, their ego and um, everybody want to get paid. So you know sometimes the team get broken up because of salary cap issues and ego. So even Charles Barkley say you know some people win a championship they want to open up steakhouses and stuff and you know because of their notoriety or whatever because they won the championship. You know players go back to their hometown. You know you know so and so having a party. You know championship party. You know what I'm saying so. You gotta think about all those little nuanced things that you know humans deal with. So, so our next topic is I seen this right before I uh, was getting ready to come and record this. They said the Heat were rumored of trying to trade for Kyrie before the trade deadline. Dallas ended up getting them, but they said the Heat took a good shot at it. And the question I have is, would that have made a difference if the Heat would have had Kyrie? on their team the answer that i would give is probably not is because i just don't think Kyrie has the same eye of a tiger that he had or that same tenacity that he had when he played for the cavaliers it's like he has something to prove he had the chip on his shoulder and i think as he's gotten older and evolved in his mind and um you know he's pretty much got his money that chip is not there anymore. I mean, he enjoyed playing the game, sure. You know, Uncle Earl, you know, shaking and baking, but the time that it takes to win a championship and the work you have to put in, I'm not sure if Kyrie really is about that kind of business now, on this time that he is now. I think he's more on the back end of his career than he is on the front end of his career. That's just being, you know, honest and factual, you know. He been in the league for a while. He a veteran, so he definitely on the back end. I think he would still would go, would play on the championship team, but I don't know if it would have been enough to beat uh, the Nuggets. So, but seeing him and Murray play against each other would have been a good matchup, though. I will say that. Now, the next topic has been swirling around going around everybody making clips and stuff about it is what shannon last day with undisputed was after the nba finals was over and well if you saw it today he actually said today was his last day shared a few tears you know it's goodwill you know everybody you know you know you know how to play the game that's what i like about uncle shay shay uncle shannon he know how to play the game man he's definitely uh like a chess player and um, I think Skip genuinely appreciated him. He he knew that he appreciated him. I think it was more of an opportunity he wanted to. Shannon just wanted to do some other things and uh, expand his portfolio horizon corporately, so to speak. Because sometimes when you work for somewhere for so long, and this happens in the corporate world, you know, you can work somewhere for so long, you're not going to get the raise that you want. You're not going to get the demand that you want, even though that you're bringing range and bringing money in. So you have to end up going somewhere else or uh, making your own opportunity in order to get what you deserve or what you can negotiate. 
Because even now with jobs now, mo there are jobs now that you'll work there for 10 years and you may not get a $10,000 raise, if $5,000 raise over a two or three year period. So you think about that and you know, with him and uh, Skip doing that show, this gonna go into the next topic is uh, how hard it is to be consistent to make that show great. He told Shannon one thing I thought thought about. He said he never called in sick, never took a day off. And you got to think they run on Pacific time. So when it's 9, 10 o'clock, you know, central time, you know, it could be almost, you know, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning Pacific time. You know, they run on a different time zone. But they delivered it every day for seven years, day in and day out. Not easy to do. Even with me doing this, being consistent, um, it's not easy because of uh, when you're a regular working person, life things happen, family happens. You know, you try to spend time with your family, balance out how much time you spend with them, how much your time spend doing this. I understand the difficulty of how hard it is to, and then you're on TV, so you have to really think about what you're gonna say, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna wear, all kind of things that factor into you being consistent. So shout out to Skip and Shannon, man. That was a good run, seven year run, good good run. I know uh, Shannon gonna do some great things. I know Skip got some stuff up his sleeve too. Um, I appreciate both of the characters they played on that show. They was two characters they played on that show. So shout out to them. So my last topic is college football is coming up. Let me know in the comments What's your expectations for Coach Prime? I think he gonna do good given the situation that he in. I give him about two or three years when he really is gonna be like the top dog down there in Colorado. He just gotta get his, all his recruits in. Um, his marketing team is awesome. Whatever he got doing the social media, his son and his uh, nephew, I think, or, uh, yeah, nephew, awesome. I mean, just the marketing and social media alone just make you think that he's gonna just do some crazy stuff. And um, his sons are there, son playing quarterback, can't beat that. But I think he's gonna do great this year. Um, every coach keep calling him out. All they doing is giving him publicity, free publicity. I know he love it. He gonna take it and run with it. So guys, let me know who you got in college football coming up. Who's some of your uh, teams you got that's gonna be good this year? You say you got Colorado, the SEC always got good football from the South, you know, from the South. So we'll see how that go. But let me know, college football, NFL, who's your teams coming up? Uh, we'll be talking about the NFL now that the NBA over. Start looking at more NFL stuff, just talking about the nuances of the NFL. Uh, like I say, Aaron Rodgers with the Jets now. Um, D Hop, he's still shopping around. I think they say he's supposed to visit the Patriots. Not really sure that fit his, his style, but you know what? I can see that fit D Hop style. I take that back because he's pretty quiet. He don't really make a lot of noise. Um, who else? Cowboys. Is Dak Prescott gonna step up, or is he still gonna be the same average Dak? Who knows? We'll see. Um, a lot of little things in the NFL. You know, a lot of little storylines popping up. You know, Patrick Mahomes. Can they repeat again the Kansas City Chiefs? I think they will. They'll be really, really, really good contending. Um, Tua, will he be able to play this year with health-wise, you know? no more. You don't want no more concussions. Are they going to invest in the offensive line? Or are they going to expect him to run for his life before he can get the ball off? So, Just something to think about, guys. Um, this is Mike. I'm signing out. Comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching the CTM Sports Show. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.